Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Proc Jam. This was a procedural generation jam where you needed to make something that made something. Um, this is not necessarily a game jam. There are other things that you could have made, like Twitter bots or graphics or, you know, anything that has something to do with generation or procedural generation. This is also not the end of the game jam. This game jam is open. This is just the, like, sort of submission date that kind of closed it. It's, like, the official closing, but other entries will probably be added over the next couple of months and maybe even later this year. The proc jam is a really cool game jam, and I'm covering all of the entries that were submitted by the end time. For about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to individual things will be in the description, so feel free to check them out. And all my info will also be in the description. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next, we're playing two choices. Alright. Okay, that door just kind of opened, but we got kind of close to the wall. Basically, these are clues, and we have to find out like which exit is the exit. I feel like I'm sinking into the floor, though. Yeah, I'm definitely like sinking into the floor. I seem to be like flying, so if I don't like point down, I won't sink. Oh, those are spikes. This was not the right way. I don't think I understand these wall things. Can we go back to the beginning? Oh, that's like a different type of wall. Boom. Hey, look. Cakes! Cakes must be a good thing. It looks like they had some issues with like the movement because it feels like I can fly. So, like, I guess normally I would jump into this pit and hope it's not spikes down here, hope it's cake. These cakes look delicious. But I kind of was able to just fly out and then just go to the next one. It's a nice concept, just needs a little bit more time. Next. We're checking out Procedural Space Battle. It says a simulation created for this jam. It's a battle. In procedurally generated system, watch two AIs battle out with full control, for full control of the solar system. So, I guess, the green planets versus the red planet versus the white planets. And they're kind of battling each other, but they can only battle when they're near each other. And I don't think I have any power to interact with them. Just have to see what happens. Alright. Nike, 72, is quite slow. Just working his way around. Ah, oh, see, he launched a ship at him. Uh, Nike, no, leave him alone, I liked him. Negative 10, hmm. Oh, now they're both fighting for that one. Now green owns 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 5 of them. And here's the white one coming around towards Athena. It's quite interesting just watching it do its thing. Each time you play, there'll be a new generated solar system and stuff. Next. We're checking out a planet surface generator. So you can basically decide some different things like ice structure. It's for ice too, that sounds interesting. Polar caps and a normal sea structure. Red algae. Okay, that sounds scary. Oceans. Uh, smaller oceans because they're all going to be red. Let's do swamps. Land and ocean split. Um, archipelagos. Equal distribution, rare, homogeneous. There's lots of different options. Coastal structure, black rocks, how about ice, seaside, um, coastlines, and shore. And then we generate a texture, and it's going to show us like the flat version down at the bottom, as well as just the whole Earth or planet spinning. I'm just going to give it a minute to generate, and there we go. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like the green and then the little bits of red. To me, the red looks like land. I feel like the red's definitely land. Right? Red algae. No, that's sea, isn't it? Red algae. I like the ice at the top as well. That's pretty cool. And you can just mess around with this and make all sorts of planets. Next. We're checking out an April Fool's fake virus or message box creator. How many message boxes do you want? Let's do two. All right. Text. Title text. What do we want to create? Well, what would be an April Fool's plank? Pray. Is this like the you won? You win. You have won all of my love. Okay. And then what? Does it create a little title box? Okay, so it saved it somewhere. Can we run it? Just gonna break my computer. Let's find out. 
I don't know. I tried to do it again, but it's like not letting me hit submit. Oh, maybe it is. I hit run it and it didn't run. And there's probably some security setting or something not allowing it to run on my computer. I'm not quite sure though. But basically, I think it's I think ooh, I think it's supposed to make just these like regular little message boxes. Yeah, probably, right? Sounds good. Next. We're checking out Accurate Coastlines. This game, I saw a GIF of it, and it looked quite interesting. Look at that, just the way it tilts. But basically, you can zoom in on, like, any of these areas. And it sort of just creates a new area to zoom into. It's, like, infinitely zooming in. Wait, wait, let's, that looks interesting. Let's go over here. And then, like, this coast looks very interesting. And then kind of want to... Go into maybe, oh, there's some little bits here that we didn't see. And it just looks like it's ever, like, growing. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> it might be a simple thing, but I like the look of it. And I like how it forever, like, branches almost. The world is just continuing. It's like a little crevice here. Follow that. I feel like I'm zooming forever. Oh, there's like a hole. Ooh. Kind of want to make it more over to that crevice. And then there's another like little hole. Neat. Next. We're playing Cal. All right. I was stuck for a minute there, but I'm not. Maybe I want to explore this room a bit more. Maybe there's something. No, there's nothing in here. Wait, what are you? Walls that I can break. Okay. All right, Cal, let's go. I bet you your full name is longer than Cal. I very much like your big knife. Apparently, you can also grab things. Bam. Table's cut. I'm just kind of exploring. There's a pipe. Well, that looks like a fun blade. Ooh. I kind of like faster ones though, so I'm going to go with this one. It's a bit slower than our first one, I think, but it's alright. Probably does more damage or something. Oh, sword. Let's do sword. Bam, bam, like that. Bam, bam. More swords. Man, this place is a lot of swords. I like the different weapons. I do wish there were enemies in a bit more. Um, I like the walking uh, cycle to this guy. To Cal. It looks like a very good start. Let's try out the hammer. Bam. Now I'm more of a sword person. Cool. Next. We're playing Dun Generation. So we are the skeleton and we are looking for torches to light up more of the world. We pick you up. Maybe that's not the right kind of torch. Yeah, okay. I don't know why we couldn't pick up that first one. I kind of like being the skeleton. Should I pick up the first torch again? Okay. Ah, here's a load of them. And they got the whole screen filled. And I'm guessing this whole island has been procedurally generated. And there's the door. Bam. So that's the whole world that we just went through. And now we're on a new one. It's a fairly simple game, but it's nicely made. Alright, nothing there. Go around this way. Lots of corners. basically have all of this lit up. There we go. Next. We're playing cult jacuzzi. Some guy's talking to me. All right, be warned, you might see images that you don't want. Developers are not responsible for images that are generated. So images are generated, be warned, blah, blah, blah. I agree. Cult jacuzzi. Awesome. So far these images look fine. Probably. Mather, Tom Ruby's greatest mystery, who really was F.S. Jack Jackson, appendix to the tiger's feet, 
Leicester, Leicester Tigers and the RFU 1895-1940 London. All right. That's why they say, what kind of cactus is it? Have you been eating any of it? This is the image of it. All right. I feel like quite random, but I understand what they were trying to do. All right. So it's sort of like where this image has come from and then what it means. So I don't know about the statue of OP, but your image looks like you're trying to recreate the effects of monsters from Space Jam A. This is the image of it. Looks like some guy crying. All right. That's why they say, okay, I found it on Twitter. No source yet. Twitter.com slash Delky. Here's an image of it. A messy room book. I used to have that book as a kid. Weird. The sound even sounds quite weird. A bit creepy. That's like a big image. You can't even read that. The Church of St. Martin, 12th century, is a Romanesque building that is registered as a historical monument. It contains four items listed as historical documents since December 4th. This is what that's why they say magic isn't spoopy, other words powers from another realm with no basis in reality science whatsoever. That's gullibility. This is the image of it. I find it hilarious that that would be a relic in a church that has something to do with how spoopy something is. This is kind of funny. Alright, next. We're playing the Inquisitor. Alright, so here's everyone. So these are like the different people, I guess. Let's hire an agent. There's Takima, which contains an alchemist, a priest, and a traitor. So you've got, that's also Takima. Uh, Naya, maybe these are houses? Yeah, those are houses, maybe. Naya, governor, Bernard, an aristocrat, Bernard, a mage. Oh, two Bernards, Bernard Jr. We have Sheng Hong, Hong Monty, a general, Nelda, an inquisitor, Alta, a general, Tashi, a priest. I don't know. Oh, wait, we can burn or bribe them. Okay, let's uh bribe you. I got a little bit of bribing. Bribe's the best way to get loyal people. Probably want an alchemist. Bribe your whole house. Okay, that's cool. Basically, we need to kill the cultists. Burn you. I actually want to burn you. Uh huh, you're dead. Um, I don't really know. Let's see, get rid of the general. No, no, no. We can't have all these generals. What's this? I think I clicked that, but I'm not sure what happened. Need more agents. Keep the priest. Let's bribe him. A general. Burn the general. I also burn this general. It was a cultist. Yay, we got rid of a cultist. We probably we probably killed them all, probably. Maybe. Yeah. It's like a button to press if you kill them all, which is this button. But I don't think we did because it's not pressing. It's an interesting concept. Uh, I think it needs a little bit more time, though. Next. We're playing Panopticon. All right. So basically, we want to stay inside the circle, but not get hit by circles. The red ones, anyway. Oh, gosh, they're getting bigger. I <laughs> like how they're all, like, eyes. It's quite a simple graphic, but because you're focusing on where you're going, it looks really nice. Darn it. I lasted 16 seconds. My high score is none. Alright, let's do it again. Just trying to survive. Oh no. Okay. This is really challenging. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever survive that long. 14 seconds. Uh. It's a simple game, but it's very well made. Ah, uh, next. 